Um, well, I guess if we were basing it on uh, things we emphasized during the week in practice, uh, I thought we did a better job with our, with our ball pressure at times. We still had some miscommunication on screens, but our effort and intent was better. And then uh, the other thing would be on the glass. Um, you know, they decided to, to match us small when we went small. And uh, maybe that was helpful for us in terms of the rebounding. But uh, I like to think that our guys put more emphasis on um, making contact and trying to keep their bigger guys off the glass. So they still got 12 offensive rebounds, but it's a far cry from the 24 they got on, on Sunday. I was turning before the law and then incident, but it, it certainly changed again once that happened. How did you reflect on that specific moment in the game? Well, I think the key is for for me, but also for the guys, is to not let those things distract you from the next possession. Um, human nature being what it is, it's tough not to get caught up in the emotional side of things, uh, especially when you think um, you know you're getting the short end of the stick for whatever reason. I'm not saying we did. I'm just saying if you think that. Um, so the big thing was to you know just kind of re refocus, get in the huddle, make sure we're locked in, not getting too emotional. And I think the review process helped us there because uh, we were a little bit loose on that. But the review was so long that we were able to kind of regroup and get a break. And uh, it was also good to get our guys some rest. Well, the, the 11 offensive fouls throughout the first three quarters, it felt like tension was building. Did you feel that the game was starting to get a personal and that, that, that was building towards something like that? Well, I think two things. Um, I told the guys after the game in the locker room, I, I'm fairly new to this deal, but it seems like every game is going to be like that. Uh, every game is so important. Um, everyone's familiar with each other. Uh, a lot of these guys have been battling for years, um, and everyone's very competitive. They wouldn't be here if they weren't. So um, that's the one thing. So I think every game is going to be like that. And the second thing is there's two teams out there that have been just sitting here for better part of two weeks, um, thinking about the other team, um, practicing for them. Um, just counting down the hours till they can play. So it's not surprising that both teams were, were out there to try and win. Well, how's uh, Todd Manchester? Uh, I, have, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, all I know is I saw him on crutches. I think it was uh, a precautionary thing with the crutches, so I'm not going to say that means it's bad. Um, I'm guessing we're going to be planning to not have him on Sunday, but I really don't know, to be honest with you. I haven't gotten a report from anyone. Um, I mean, not, not, I'm, I'd be concerned no matter what. You see one of your one of your guys on crutches, you're going to be concerned, um, whether it's precautionary or, or um, you know, something more serious. But we'll just wait and see um, if he's getting scanned. I'm not, I'm not even sure if he's getting imaging or anything like that tonight, but we'll wait and see what the medical team says tomorrow before we, we panic. Jesse, what's the key to you turning back the clock so far? You said you're in such great form. You can find everything in that season. How do you look at that the way you're performing? Uh, well, it's nice playing alongside guys like BC and Vic and, and guys that get so much attention. I'll just uh, pick up the scraps. But uh, no, it's been good. Um, you know, I think um, as long as we can keep our intensity and, and keep that energy up, um, yeah, that's the key. Role is clearly changed this year. Is it, is it good to have something different to what, with the way you're playing? What was that, sorry? Your role has changed a bit on court. Like, you played something different from the roles that are over your career. To, to when you get a little bit of change with the, how, you, how you play, does that help to freshen it up and feel good? Yeah, look, I, I don't really see my role as changing too much. It's, it's to come off the bench, provide energy. Um, shoot when I'm open, crash a glass, play good defence. Um, that hasn't changed in 13 years and I don't expect it to. So, um, do what I can and, yeah, hopefully win basketball games. It's pretty simple. Oh, is that for me? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, yeah, look, BC's... Um, an incredible talent. Um, and, you know, I think what's overlooked with BC is not only can he score the ball, but he contributes in so many other ways. Um, 
He's a solid defender. He's intelligent. Um, he's not just going to chuck up a shot just because he wants his. He'll he'll make the the extra pass. Um, so you know, any team with him on it is better for it. I think it's been good. Obviously, he, he came off the bench today for the first time this season, and I thought he handled it very well. Um, he, I think he took some uh, <clears throat> challenges that we, we put toward him after the last game to be a little tougher defensively, and he was. And uh, he's been you know, our best rebounder by the numbers anyway all season. Um, um, I think he has great potential as a playmaker, and we've tried to get him a little bit more into our actions by coming off the bench and uh, allowing him to use his strengths to, to find people as opposed to kind of standing in the corner and just being a rebounder and cutter. Uh, that being said, he's a great cutter as well. Now he's fr frustrated with the shooting. Um, and uh, it's something he's going to have to mentally get over because uh, I think he's just a much better shooter than he's given himself credit for based on his free throws and some of the stuff we see in practice. So hopefully we can get a couple to fall and then um, kind of break the ice because uh, he's not giving him a chance, not giving himself a chance sometimes to make those um, when we all know that he's he's capable and we we trust him to take those open looks. I thought I was I was pretty um, happy with how he played with composure after getting a couple tough calls against him. Um, again, not saying they were right or wrong calls, but it's tough when you go out for your first game and you get three quick ones and then a fourth pretty quick in the second half. So he played most of his minutes with, with foul trouble and uh, was still able to impact the game defensively. It was also good to see him knock a couple shots down. I thought he was hesitant to shoot in the first half and uh, much like Luke, we believe in him to take open looks and knock them down and, and uh, when he's not open to get into the paint and create for others and uh, we can't have guys passing up shots so it was nice to see him knock one down and kind of get the rust off and uh, I expect he'll be even better on Sunday. It sounded like you were calling him old earlier. It's messed up. <laughs> um, no, I mean, he's been great um, on the stat sheet and, and off it. Um, one of the things I knew when I took this job was that I was going to have a nice little core of guys who have won before, who know what, it's take, what it takes to win, who are great leaders, and it was going to make my job that much easier in terms of just being able to focus on the X's and the O's and, and trying to learn the league. Um, what maybe I didn't expect as much, even though I'm not surprised by it, is um, his contribution on the court has been um, second to none. Uh, he's always leading the team in plus minus, um, and that's not a fluke. Uh, he rebounds for us, uh, passes the ball, stretches the floor with his shooting, and um, didn't know he was known for uh, driving closeouts and getting to the rim, but we've seen that a few times as well. Um, Might have got a race once or twice at the rim, but overall I think he's... He's keeping defenses honest by doing that. And um, uh, you know, it was nice to be here for his career high in points. Can I ask you about Sunday briefly? It's going to be a unique game with a, a new franchise coming in. And how has the squad been here before playing the big guys? It, it's, what do you think of it when you think of coming up against those faces and a, and a new team? Is that for me? So that's for Jesse. Oh. oh. Jeez, I wasn't listening. Can you go again, Craig? <laughs> yeah, look, I, th I think the fact that they're a new franchise is, is kind of irrelevant. Um, at the end of the day, we're, we're both, you know, I guess professional teams and... Um, you know, we, we've got a basketball game to prepare for. Um, obviously, it's a, some familiar faces on the court and 
um, in the coaching staff as well, but um, I don't think that changes too much. Um, we're going to prepare and uh, move on pretty quick from this game <clears throat> to pre prepare and and try to get another win before we go on the road. Um, you know, I, I guess that's the, the gist of it.